okay so i wanted to uh, record a hopefully no longer than two or three minute video of um some of the, the things that i was talking about uh, which is gaussian mixture modeling um so what gaussian mixture modeling is is it's like saying hey i have a bunch of data and i think that maybe this data actually has like a few subgroups to it and so what the Gaussian mixture model lets you do is try to infer or like learn what different subgroups might exist in your data, where subgroup is defined as just like a bell-shaped curve Gaussian distribution defined by a center and a standard deviation that governs like how wide versus narrow it is. And then also what are the relative um, uh, contributions of like or how, how big each component is in the overall mixture. Um, and I wrote a few notes down here. Um, I implemented two approaches for this. One is um, I define a function that tells me how good um, a proposal mixture distribution is, uh, how well it explains my observed data. And then I can actually take the derivative of that with respect to the parameters of the distribution and basically iteratively improve the parameters to imp like generate a better uh, proposal of what caused my data. Um, that's one that's called maximum likelihood estimation. And a second approach, which is um, a little more nuanced, but uh, a lot faster and um, uh, kind of interesting, probabilistically or analytically, which I can explain later, but I don't want to get into a lot of detail now, is something called expectation maximization, where um, there's no gradient descent happening. Um, but what we do is for each data point, generate or kind of uh, compute what the, how like we, like how, where we think each data point came from. And um, then we use those kind of fuzzy guesses for each data point to then generate guesses for what we think the mixture components are. Um, and that might kind of sound like it wouldn't work because it's like garbage in, garbage out, right? Like if you have like a bad guess of what the components are, how would you get like good guesses of like, you know, your, your fuzzy guesses? And then how would that give you like better estimates of your mixture components? Um, it's like a chicken and an egg problem, but it turns out that it works extremely well. So I'm just going to demo this really quick. Um, this is for uh, the gradient approach, and this is a mixture of two, two Gaussians. Um, one is centered at about negative two, the other, or negative 2.6, the other at uh, 1.8. And we can see that the gradient descent thing, it's learning components and it's like kind of getting better. Um, like this one's getting bigger, this one's getting getting like more negative, which is good. Um, it's improving. This will go for about 1500 iterations or 2000 iterations before it's done. Um, right now it's improving a lot. It's uh, kind of interesting how gradient descent works. Sometimes you go through phases where it improves a lot and then it just kind of plateaus and then it improves a lot again. And that's kind of what happened there. Uh, so yeah, we're kind of, we're, we're improving, um, but I'm, I'm gonna stop it because it's taking too long. Cool. But it's not bad. Um, we got to uh, about negative two and one and like everything's, you know, it's not super inaccurate, but as we'll see, the EM approach is way faster. This is EM. And it's done. And also produced exactly the uh, generating like original true distribution, which is really cool. Uh, so yeah, that's what I've been working on the past um, past few days. and. I implemented some code, wrote some various modules to like I define. I made a class that defines like Gaussian uh, um, Gaussian mixtures. This just kind of like parameterizes it. This is I can use this to like generate some fake data. This is my goodness of fit measure that I can do gradient descent against. 
this is um, the fitting code for gradient descent. And so like down here, I can use this library called JAX to compute gradients and then do um, incremental improvements and just do this iteratively until basically, you know, while the improvement is uh, bigger than a threshold. And then once it's smaller than that threshold, then I break out. Uh, this is EM and it's, everything up here is the same. Where things are different, where the magic happens is in this function called update EM, which does the EM update. Um, and that does, these is, this is where we compute our like fuzzy assignments. So like each data point to the mixture contribution or to the mixture component. And then based on those uh, intermediate probabilities, we then generate new uh, uh, mixture components and um, do that enough times and uh, you converge on, on, on a really accurate answer. And actually this went for about 35 uh, iterations. We can actually look back even in the first, basically converges in the first 10 iterations really. Um, so if we go say to iteration, by iteration eight, by iteration eight, it's already like the means are very close, the, the, the scales are very close, the weights are very close. Um, and then by, yeah, by iteration 10, the, it, the improvement, it's improving by less, the magnitude of less than one. And this is the same scale, it's an apples to apples comparison between this and the gradient approach where um, the gradient approach was like always improving by like 10 or so. And this, in the first, you know, ten iterations, it's 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 improving by orders of magnitude faster, and um, just works incredibly well. And it saturates very fast, and it saturates at the truth, which is important because it's actually arriving at a good solution. So yeah, that's what uh, I've been working on. How do I end this?